intro, this is the first time I'm ever going to read out loud. So, this I'm going to read today is The Worst Night Ever by Dave, Bear, Dave Barry. So, let's get started. Poor Sophie, the best daughter ever. My name is Wyatt Palmer. I'm 14, almost 15. I live in Miami, which can be strange can be a strange place. Although, usually my life is pretty normal. I say, usually, because a while back in middle school, I was involved in this insane class trip that ended up, you might have heard about this, with me breaking the collarbone of the president's the President of the United States. It wasn't my fault, really. And any and everything turned out okay. In fact, I got treated like kind of a hero. Even though, tr trust me, I'm not a hero. Anyway, for a while, that was a very big deal but after a few months it got to be a smaller deal and even even quality it into it was wasn't really much of a deal at all which which ha was which was fine with me because I'm not in middle school anymore. I'm a freshman at Coral Cove High School, home of writing fighting conscious. And the first thing I figured out about high school was if you're a freshman escapely a smallish male freshman you don't want to draw a lot of attention to yourself or act like you want your you're a big deal it's better to be kind of invi invisible for a while don't get me wrong most of the kids at Cove are nice, but like in every school, there are some kids that you don't want noticing you at Cove. There are two kids you really don't want noticing you, the Beaven brothers. Those would be Nick and Troy. They're tw twins, and they're both big Although Nick is a little bit bigger, they are seniors, they're seniors, but they could pass college college students. Their dad is a super rich businessman in Miami, and they live in a giant m mansion. They drive and trick out black Jeep with huge tires, a Miami Heat logo, their big stars on the football, baseball teams, basketball teams. Also, in the, in the opinion of a lot of girls, they are, they're always kind of poisoning models to holster and gracefully giving them rest in, in for models and holster and gracefully giving them the rest of us interfere beings 
opportunity to admire them. You probably already figured this out. I don't like the Beaven brothers. This wouldn't have been a problem if they hadn't known who I was. I could have been another lonely freshman. Freshman, I heard the lolly freshman flowing past them in the halls as they stood around being admired informally. The Bevan brothers knew exactly who I was. We became acquainted during my second se- second month at Coral Cove High. The week before Halloween, I took the bus as usual. I walked into onto the school grounds with Matt Diaz, who's my best friend even though he's an idiot. You will s- soon see why I say this. Before school starts, almost everyone hangs around outside in the big co- courtyard. And that's surrounding by buildings. You talk with your friends. Try to finish the homework you didn't finish that night before. To finish the homework you didn't finish the night before. Oh. Or and try to wake up because it's way too early. Miami Public High school starts classes at seventy seven twenty AM. This is insane. If you know anything about biology of humans, teenagers, our, our natural wake-up time is maybe 1.30 in, in the afternoon. If you put us in the classroom at 7.20 a.m., and expect us to actually remember anything a teacher says to you. Says you. Wait. If you put us in a classroom at 7:20 a.m. and expect us to actually remember teachers. Te- a teacher says you are a little bit insane or. A school in Mister. Before classes started, I usually hung out with a bunch of other freshmen. Freshmen. I knew from the middle middle school we met near the door to the health scientist building, which was. N- where they had have classes for who want for kids who want to be doctors or nurses or permies. They have all these creepy life size dummies and the their that students were supposed to use practicing Used for practicing medical stuff like taking blood pressure. Some interacting things have gone on the co- on in the courtyard. There was one legacy incident a few years ago involving involving the scariest person person at Coral Curve. Erling, a st- stringer. Ma- str- the stringer min- nursing, who is the principal as well. As the strictest person.
person in the solar system. The stinger is a short, fierce, fierce. The stinger is a short but fierce woman who grew up in New York City and prides herself on not having have, having been born yesterday, which she definitely was not. She been the principal at Co since like Roman um, Roman Empire, but for a person of her age, was has amazing eyesight. Eyesight. She can spot volcanoes of the school dress code from seven from seven miles. Anyway, it's like superpower. She pa- patrols the school or ground school grounds every morning and and every minute or so she'll point out and yell, Hey! She'll be pointing at some kid way off the distance who isn't wearing an approved Coral Cove shirt or doesn't have an ID badge or has shorts that are too short or whatever. You! The Strangler will come yet. Come here. The kid will be like, who, me? And the stringer will say, yes, you. Then then the kid trudge over the stringer. Well, the stringer will give him uh, or her on uh, a or her a connection de- even starts you even starts you never know when she's going before school even starts oh you know when she's going to strike next anyway so anyway according to the legend spirits once one morning, a few years ago, Stinger was patrolling and spotted a kid on the second floor balcony next to the media center. The kid was leaning with his back against the railing and wearing a tie-dye shirt which has which is definitely a volcano of the coral cave dress code. Hey! yelled the stringer. The kid didn't move. Hey! yelled the stringer again. On the balcony! Turn around! I'm talking to you! Oh, sorry. So, I'm done reading for now. Um, I'll read tomorrow.